What's going on and welcome to Joe's Geek Show. The video series where we talk comics and occasionally in comic book movies or comic book shows. Speaking of comic book shows, the new trailer for Superman and Lois is dropped. And after watching the trailer a couple times, coming through it, trying to pick out any of the details that I could possibly find, I've definitely got uh, some very interesting thoughts that I'd like to share. For one, I do gotta say, the show does look like it's on a decent budget. Cause CW shows, for better or for worse, generally have been on the lower end of the production level, oftentimes having really bad CGI, save for a few characters on the show, like say King Shark or Gorilla Grodd on The Flash. As well as you can tell the cameras that they're using are a bit on the cheaper side. But here, both their camera work and quality of the color grading, it does almost make it feel like it's more theatrical which is kind of similar to the fourth episode of Crisis on Infinite Earths, where as opposed to the other four episodes, it does have a higher production value. And I do wonder if they're gonna keep this kind of quality throughout the entire show, or if after the premiere, it's gonna to go to your more basic CW setup. With things that happen within the trailer, there's a few things that are going on that I find kind of interesting, like Lowe's and Clark, they lost their jobs and they have to move to the old Kent farm. And as we see, there's a new baddie on the rise, because of course there is. It wouldn't be a Superman show without a wretched hive of scum and villainy. A villain that looks an awfully lot like Black Noir from The Boys. And also, not Black Noir seems to have kryptonite. Yay! Also, the Kents have two sons. They're teenagers. But that tells us this show is far, far, far into the future. Also, they don't know their dad is Superman. Which I gotta wonder, why? I mean, don't... They themselves have powers because they're Kryptonian? Or are Lois and Clark finding some way to block their powers so they have a somewhat normal life? Or do they have developing powers and they just didn't tell their parents? And if that's the case, how would you even keep that a secret? Your dad is Superman. And that's when I start thinking about the potential trend for the most obvious CW trope. Let's all keep secrets from each other to or some conflict because let's be honest most CW shows issues could be solved with a simple conversation and then there's the Superman suit which is taking a lot of inspiration from the new 52 suit where it's blue it's got a red cape red boots no undies and a red belt so pretty much a Superman suit with without the undies or would you call them ovaries and I do want to preface it that I actually do like Tyler Hawkland's portrayal of Superman. He's got a very genuine kind of approach to it. But I also know that people have criticized him in the past as being just a tad bit on the scrawny side. So what did the CW decide to do? Pad the shit out of his suit. I mean, you thought Shazam looked padded in that suit? Okay, he definitely looked padded in that suit. And here it's kind of the same thing. There definitely seems to be a proportional difference between him inside the suit and him outside the suit. Or maybe Tyler really does fill the suit out that well and he's just been juicing between shows. But anyway, it's a decent trailer and I am excited to watch the first episode. And if you liked this video, you can smash that like button, share it with some friends, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, ring that notification bell for more comic book content. And if you're wondering what you watch next, consider one of these two videos. All right, take care, have a great day, and as always, Stay geeky.